Hello everyone, in today's video, I will be talking about a new CO2 system. This system is very nice, and I loved it after using it for only one week, so stay tuned to know all about it. The first way to add CO2 to your aquarium, is by using a do-it-yourself CO2 system. In this method we use two plastic bottles, a gauge and a few plastic tubing as seen in the picture. Then we add citric acid to one tube, and baking soda to the second tube, and finally some water. This method has an issue regarding the durability of the bottles, plus the CO2 pressure generated using this method might not be sufficient. The second method, is by using a traditional CO2 cylinder, in this method the cylinder itself might be too huge, plus its size and shape might not be very appealing, plus you will have to fill it in the shop or a CO2 factory every time it gets empty. Now, let's talk about the new system that I started to use, and I just love it. This system consists of, a stainless steel cylinder, a gauge, a bubble counter, a solenoid, a rubber tube and finally a small CO2 diffuser. The first step is to add your citric acid, followed by the baking soda, then the water and close the gauge very fast once you put the water so that you don't lose any generated CO2. The CO2 here, and depending on your tank of course, will last for 2 or 3 weeks, then you can fill it again using the same method. This system comes in 3 different sizes, 1 liter, 2 liters and 2 double liters, mine was the 2 liters model, and it takes 200 gram citric acid, 200 gram baking soda and finally 300 milliliters of water. There are several advantages for using this system. First, it is made of a stainless steel cylinder, so it should be very durable compared to the do-it-yourself plastic bottles. Second, it lasts more than the plastic bottles, and it generates enough pressure, even if the stainless steel cylinder is located on the ground below the tank. Third, it looks very stylish compared to both the plastic bottles, and the traditional CO2 cylinders. Fourth, it doesn't cost a lot to fill, where you can get the ingredients from any supermarket, so you don't need to go to a place equipped to fill ready-made CO2, and finally it is lightweight compared to traditional cylinders. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and press the ring to receive notifications of new videos. If you are using any other methods to generate CO2, then don't forget to add them in the comments.